from the station that's on your side. This is Channel 7 News. Good morning, Arkansas. Hey, welcome back, everybody, to Good Morning Arkansas. Baptist Health Cardiologist Dr. Scott Davis joins us this morning. And if you've ever had a drink, you might want to listen up. It could affect your heart. Drinking alcohol, of course, yep. is something we've talked about before. Dr. Davis, first of all, welcome in, Good as morning. always. Uh, let's talk about this first. Uh, you know, we're talking about something where it's very common right. in this country. You, right. You know, right. I mean, you're talking about numbers that span far and wide when it comes to alcoholic beverages and intake. Yeah, so uh, we're talking about alcohol abuse. And yeah. it can affect some 10 to 15 million Americans. Really? And that's that's beyond alcohol dependency. That's where the, the the volume of drinking, the amount that you're drinking on a daily basis, begins to negatively impact your life. And from a cardiac standpoint, there's more and more research evolving and emerging that is showing increased risk for heart rhythm problems, atrial fibrillation, increased risk for heart attack, and wow. increased risk for for heart failure. So the whole you know th does drinking impact my heart negatively? It does at excessive levels. Now, it begs the next question, well, hey, Doc, you know, the Heart Association is always talking about a glass of wine a day Red or, wine, you know, yeah. right, or a glass, you know, an ounce of alcohol. So, yes, it has been shown that, a, a, you know, a glass of wine does positively impact, but it's that whole bell curve kind of thing. In other words, if one is good, it doesn't mean six is gooder, yes. right? A that, glass, not yeah, a bottle. And, it's and, yes. right. Uh, yeah, yes, that's right. And, and so, that, that and, and that's where it becomes difficult. Yeah. And that's how come messaging it is, is often a, a challenge because, yes, on the one hand we have shown you know with research that you know a, a, an ounce of alcohol a glass of wine uh, a day does have cardioprotective benefit sure. but you have to be careful because in excess can really turn the table very quickly and it's the whole too much of anything is not a good thing yeah and we always talk about the liver when we're yeah. talking about alcohol right. you know I think the heart kind of takes a, a, a back seat but, but unfortunately that's something people I'm sure they when they come to the office they go I had no idea this right affected right my heart. and so we'll you know unfortunately we see the back end of it yeah. and it, it is it, now here here is the good news but direct impact between stopping alcohol and then improving the heart function for instance the alcoholic cardiomyopathy where too much alcohol has effectively pickled the heart once you stop once you remove the alcohol yeah, you know from the equation it, 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 from the equation exactly once you take that off the table then the heart does improve really? and so okay. yeah so, so it, it is a direct impact and there's a you know once you take it away then it, there is improvement the question then is if you do have problem mm -hmm. if you if you wake up and you go you know what that's me it's not the other guy it is me then I highly encourage you to seek something out like a dependency program I would go and visit with your primary care doctor be proactive and seek some help and when it comes to amount per day is the recommendation still one glass of yeah, wine is that, so, is that still right. in that it, guideline it, yeah. So yeah. one glass of wine or, uh, or one beer a yeah. day has an ounce of alcohol. Okay. It's an ounce of alcohol, no matter kind of what the packaging is. And then the other thing is, is that it's a delicate line. Nobody really knows research is, all right, how much is too much? Yeah. You know, yeah. and so th that's, that's, and that's where it becomes very gray for folks because it's always, look, I'm not drinking too much. You're the one that drinks too much, uh, right? Yeah. And so, you know, but I think we all need to do some introspection and, and, and when it starts to negatively impact your, your health, heart, liver, your job performance, your lot, your family, that's when it has to stop. And, and especially, it's all relative too, uh, to body type. Everybody's right. different with intake and, and everything like that's that. Right. But even guys who say, oh, I can drink this much, or people say, oh, I can drink that much, the still recommendation, no matter the body type, is still that one that, that's ounce. That's correct. It's okay. one ounce a day. Uh, uh, for, uh, uh, well, one ounce for women, and then one to two ounces for men is the kind of Maximum, formal yeah. party line from the Heart Association. Okay, and once again, as Dr. Davis mentioned, if you feel like you are waking up and, and feeling like you have that problem, seek professional help. Alcoholism is something yeah, that's tough to battle alone. They can and, call 1-800-BAPTIST. Yeah. I mean, you know, they can call the health line, yeah. and we'll get them plugged in quickly to, uh, to the right program. Okay, and if you have any complications, talk to your physician, your primary care doctor, if you're ever having any heart complications, and they can get you in contact Absolutely. With over there at the Baptist Health Cardiologist Institute. Dr. Scott Davis and your team, you guys do a wonderful job, and we always appreciate Absolutely. when you shed light on new research, which is happening by the month now, it seems like. It used to be years and years of research studies. Now it's every month there's something new coming the out. The developmental curve is as steep as it is in any part of our industry. All right, Dr. Good Davis. Good to see you, man. Good to see you, have too. Have a great week.